Hey, what's up everybody? Wolf Daddy here at Team Wolf Daddy. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Those of you who are new, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing part two on the torque detail mirror shine. So I did a part one and uh, I had no idea that it was going to really draw the attention that it did. Uh, it was kind of just a, a quick video, I guess, that I could post up and make schedule. Uh, it's not really a video I enjoy doing, um, not endorsed by Torque Detail, and I am not sponsored by Torque Detail. But I had to upload, and uh, it seems to be a lot of people are interested in this stuff. So today we're going to go ahead and do part two. We are working on the little S10 that I have here. So for the most part, the front's done. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the bed real quick. Uh... I know it probably looks clean, but it's got some dirt in it. And then uh, another thing that actually happened with this truck, it did not have uh, the swirl marks in it. I really wanted to stay away from them, but it's kind of hard to avoid swirl marks when you wash a black vehicle. Uh, so this stuff is not magic by no means. Uh, not really like what you see when Torque Detail actually does like their promotional uh, advertisements and those types of things this stuff is is not magic it's just a quick detail it is better than your ten dollar bottle of uh, Meguiar's or Mother's or whatever really you're into but you can see I, I've done the front already and this truck's 25 years old so Stuff's pretty simple, it's just like any other detailer, just give it a little shake. That's probably more than we needed, but that's fine. Make sure you got a clean rag. Like I said, it's it's really impossible to Keep swirl marks off of a black truck. Oh. So, really need to do, I guess, paint correction or, like I said, this stuff is not magic, uh, but it's definitely pretty nice. Well, there you have it and it will if you let it sit uh, long enough I did notice and I'll do it here I'll leave this like this uh, but it will leave almost like a wax uh, kind of that white powder residue if you leave it sitting long enough so And I'm going to just leave this sitting here so I can show you all that as well. So here we are. This is kind of the, I guess the powder that I was talking about. So yeah, if you sprayed it on a, like plastics and you know, stuff like that, you probably will get like a, uh, like a white residue in your creases if you don't get it all off uh, the good thing is you don't have to wipe it very hard to get it off even once it dries which is good in this case because I guess it will limit the swirl marks if you're OCD like me then you'll have to open the gas cap here
to get in those little crevices. So, there you have it. I will not make any more of these videos, but uh, definitely the, the ones who, who checked up on me and said, hey, where's part two? You, you said you were gonna do a part two. Uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, it's good motivation, and it shows me that you guys are actually watching the channel. So, that's perfect. And I hope y'all enjoy this. And if you have any questions about the truck, it's for sale. Like everything else, it is actually, it's a 97 SS S10. Has been taken pretty good care of. It's got 80,000 miles. And there's actually another video on the channel. So, there you have it.